Hey everybody, it's Mr. Ben. I hope you're having a great summer. Um, I am actually in Lancaster, Pennsylvania with my family on vacation. Um, so as you can see, there's a nice little patio behind me and I am uh, enjoying uh, some vacation time. So I get the opportunity to introduce today's story uh, to you. And today's story is actually found in three different books of the Bible. It's found in Matthew, Mark, and Luke. Um, and this is because, probably because this story is a big deal. Uh, the people who experienced this story definitely would have talked about it a lot. Um, and definitely would have told a lot of people about what had happened. So this, uh, the one we're going to read today is from Matthew 9. Uh, I'm sorry, Matthew chapter 8, verse 23. Now, right before when I'm going to read, uh, Jesus was healing people, and a large crowd had developed around him. And so he told his disciples to get into the boat that was there, and they were going to go across the Sea of Galilee, which was like a big lake. Okay? Uh, then Jesus got into the boat and started across the lake with his disciples. Suddenly, a fierce storm struck the lake, with waves breaking into the boat. But Jesus was sleeping. The disciples went and woke him up, shouting, Lord, save us! We're going to drown! Jesus responded, Why are you afraid? You have so little faith. Then he got up and rebuked the wind and waves, and suddenly there was a great calm. The disciples were amazed. Who is this man, they asked, even the wind waves obey him. That word rebuked means he spoke to the, uh, the winds and the waves. Basically, it's kind of like when your mom and dad uh, correct you, when you do something wrong, if you're acting up and they say, hey, cut that out. That's what Jesus did, except for in this case, it was nature. It was these giant waves that were crashing into their ship. And the disciples actually thought that they were going to die. Um, they thought that they were going to drown. And so they went and they, I think they did the right thing, right? When we're, uh, when we're in trouble, we should go to Jesus. And that's what they did. But it's interesting because when Jesus woke up from his nap, he asked them a question. He said, why are you afraid? Um, now that se kind of seems like a silly question, right? Because it's clear they were going they were, they were going to drown. They were in this big storm. Um, but I think the, the reason Jesus asked that was when we find ourselves in a storm, um, we can always go to Jesus, and that's what we should do. Um, that's what we should do. So, uh, but because but because they had Jesus in the boat, they didn't need to be afraid. It, the person they needed to go to was actually right there and would keep them safe. Now this was amazing, right? I, I've never seen anybody calm a storm by the words they said. Um, and these disciples, they got to see that with their own eyes, right? And I was thinking, I would like to see a miracle like that. I would like to see, you know, Jesus speak to the wind and the waves and calm them. But then I realized, um, you know, to see a miracle like that, first you have to be in the storm. And in the storm is the place where we go to Jesus and we ask for help and then he calms the storm. I know right now things are a little uncertain with school, for instance. What's still school gonna feel like? Um, are we going to get to go back to school? That's one storm that we find ourselves in. There, are, You probably also have storms um, in your lives that maybe are bigger than that question. I want to tell you uh, that this is an opportunity to go to Jesus, right? Just like the disciples who found them, them, uh, themselves in a storm. You may have found yourself in a storm. But be excited, because this is an opportunity now for you to go to Jesus and see your own miracle 
see Jesus uh, rebuke your situation and calm your storm. Uh, I hope you guys are having a great summer. I love you guys and I hope to see you soon. Bye. Jesus spent all day teaching crowds of people near the Sea of Galilee. That evening, Jesus wanted to cross over to the other side of the sea. So Jesus and his disciples left the crowds. They got into a boat and began sailing. Some of the people from the crowds followed in their own boats. While Jesus and his disciples traveled, Jesus fell asleep on a cushion at the back of the boat. All of a sudden, a storm came. The wind was strong and the waves crashed into the boat. Water was coming into the boat and the disciples were afraid. Many of the disciples were fishermen. They had survived storms on the sea before, but this storm was different. It was so strong. If the water kept coming in the boat, the boat would sink. Surely they would all drown. The disciples looked to Jesus for help, but Jesus was still fast asleep at the back of the boat. He didn't seem to even notice the storm. Did Jesus care that they were about to sink into the sea? The disciples woke up Jesus. Lord, save us, they said. We are going to die. Jesus opened his eyes and saw that his friends were afraid. He got up and spoke to the wind. Then Jesus said to the sea, Silence! Be still. At the sound of Jesus' voice, the wind stopped blowing and the waves stopped crashing. Everything was calm. The disciples were safe. Jesus looked at his disciples and asked, Why are you afraid? Do you still have no faith? Did the disciples not trust Jesus to take care of them? The disciples were amazed. Who is this man? They asked each other. Even the wind and the waves obey him. Jesus' disciples knew Jesus was a good man and a good teacher. But when Jesus calmed the wind and the waves, he showed his disciples that he is also God. God rules the sea and stills its waves.